What's up? What's up, everybody? All right, I'm back at it again. I didn't upload um, <clears throat> last week's outing that I did in uh, uh, Johnny Mining District because the hole that I had been working got completely full, and the dry washing experience turned out to turn out to be moist washing, and that didn't work out too well. So I didn't get too much of anything that was worth posting up. So today I'm out here at Gold Basin and no oh, no no lost basin and pretty close to king tut mine on a gold searchers of southern nevada claim so i just got here uh checking it out this is a 20 acre claim um just kind of walked around taking a look at the dry wash over here and uh, popped out the mine lab and uh with the double d coils on there and Going to get uh, set up here in a little bit and uh, go down there and uh, start working. Um, I'll more than likely stay the night tonight, depending upon how this goes. I'm thinking about hitting up some GPAA claims um, over by Greg's Hideout Road near the BAH, uh, I forgot, it's like BAHED claims and or the doggone claims from um, GSSN. So, um yeah, I just kind of changed up the back of the truck a little bit. I took out my back seat, and uh, this I can get out pretty easily um, when I need to, and I'll just sleep there. And uh, I uh, brought some extra gas. So I don't think I'm going to have to worry about running out of fuel with 10 extra gallons. And I uh, hope that Echo 2 lasts today and tomorrow because I'm a runner hard. And um, got my shower set up there <laughs> to wash the hands and whatnot. So it's a beautiful morning, regardless of uh, the cloudy conditions. Hopefully it doesn't rain. So uh, I see some good quartz on the ground here and there. And I'm going to get back at it, shut my yapper, and uh, get back to you in a minute. All right, I got some concentrates up from uh, the dry wash. Run them through the dry washer here now. Let's see how that goes. What's up? Okay, I did my first sample here and uh, got a couple flakes. So it looks like I'm going to go ahead and stay here. And uh, that was just, uh, you know, just a little crevicing and, and a dry wash. Backed it up and just went ahead and threw it through the dry washer. And uh, so at least I know of a particular spot that has some flakes. That's good. The next bot or the next one I'm gonna do is uh, a little bit uh, downstream. So, you know, old Ben and I not doing too bad, I guess. Well, you know, he's 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 here with us in spirit at least, right? So, my good luck charm I was gonna bring the sand people, a sand person, but uh, yeah. Ain't good luck, are they? So, all right, I'm going to get back at it, and uh, let's see uh, what I get here when I come up with the next one. Oh, man. All right. Yeah. Decided to go ahead and just go ahead and camper out tonight on this 20-acre claim from the Gold Searchers of Southern Nevada. So on that sample, as I showed earlier, I got a couple flakes, so I decided to uh, just go ahead and stay here instead of going to the other claims uh, closer to Greg's hideout. So I just built my little fire pit, brought a little bit of wood, 
Plus there's a lot of dead Joshua tree sitting around. <clears throat> Wiped out, been up since probably about three in the morning. It's probably about 2100 or so right now. Pretty nice out. Cloud cover isn't uh, obscuring the starlight. Uh, and then we got the moon. nice and peaceful out here. I'm going to put my camera around. You can't see nothing. Oh, and I'm having some dogfish ale. Dogfish IPA. I can't really see nothing. Every good mining trip. It's a good mining camping story. So since I'm solo on this one, I'm going to go ahead and do my own little story here. Try to make it quick. A little thought-provoking. Not sure a lot of people are going to know too much about ancient history. I'm going to particularly talk about, and sorry for my... Um, mispronunciation of words <clears throat> 22 ounces of uh, dogfish uh, IPA is done me good but anyhow let's go back to Mesopotamia in between the Euphrates and Tigris River ancient Iraq our history books tells us that the first or the dawn of civilization started in Sumer it's pre-Babylonian and then you had the Egyptians right around the same time. We're talking about, you know, 6,000 years ago, 4,000 B.C. So, and this, this is not including discoveries in Turkey with, uh, Gek, uh, I'm going to probably mispronounce this, Gek, Gek Bo Tekli. Graham Hancock is uh, uh, one to go to on that phenomenal work, Fingerprints of the Gods. Wow. Man's got phenomenal work. Anyhow, we're told that the Sumerians were the first civilization with laws, courts, uh, justice, sewers, divorce, marriage, and uh, we're talking about uh, Iraq, ancient Iraq. Well, there is one uh, author who's brought a lot of mainstream uh, to the uh, ancient Sumerian and his name is Zachariah Sitchin. He's like a, a Eric von Daniken type with the ancient astronaut theory. I'd read a lot of his books. Um, Twelfth Planet, uh, Stairway to Heaven, Wars Between Gods and Men, uh, Lost Realms. I haven't, I didn't read When Time Began but I did read Genesis Revisited, uh, Divine Encounters, and uh, of Heaven and Earth. It's like a memoir, or like a, a bunch of essays compiled, you know, several different authors. And uh, I really couldn't get through the Book of Inky. And I got a couple of other books, but there's concerns. Um, with following that theory and that's let's say the guy says he reads uh, several different ancient um, languages but he doesn't really cite where he how to learn these cuneiform texts Akkadian, Sumerian, uh, Babylonian, Egyptian, Hebrew so etc. Mayan so when he doesn't state his academic, how he, I mean, if, how did he read it? I mean, that, that's really hardcore stuff, but yeah, the gold, how the Anunnaki came here, $450,000, uh, $450,000, 450,000 years ago to mine for gold. And they got tired of the, because the Anunnaki were supposed to be ancient um, astronauts from Nibiru, which is interesting. Um, I'm a Star Trek fan, 
And when Abrams did uh, the last Star Trek movie, uh, they began on a, a primitive planet, and Spock's in command of uh, trying to keep this volcano from erupting. But anyways, uh, and I believe it's Bones and uh, 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 Kirk are running away and from this primitive. Anyways, this planet's Nibiru. And of course, I don't know if you're in to that, but Nibiru is the planet X, et cetera, et cetera. And well, this is where Sitchin, he, he's the man that really started all this. And because the Anunnaki came here, uh, I, uh, Inky and, and the 50 uh, astronaut or Anunnaki came down here um, in the Ubzu and uh, mined for gold in South Africa. And they uh, created the Adamu, the ancient man, uh, Adam. And in Eden, they did have an Eden. So there's a lot of accuracies and a lot of uh, uh, inaccuracies. Uh, there was a, a Sumerian um, <clears throat> Eden, just spelled a little different. It was between Euphrates and Tigris River, just as uh, in, in the Hebrew uh, Genesis. So it, it's all fascinating. I'm not discounting that. or It, it leads to something. But anyways, uh, the gold. Now, the, there's not really any, like Samuel Kramer. There's there's different uh, scholars to go to, and uh, the name of the one uh, this ah oh, this gentleman I can't think of his name. It's uh, kind of embarrassed I can't think of his name because um, I, I'm glad I've turned to his work. <laughs> I feel bad that I don't remember his name because I want to give him credit right here. But anyways, um, he, he's real. Uh, he doesn't attack your belief or attack because people get really threatened with their beliefs. So like if you're against the ancient astronaut theory or if you're against a, a Christian or, or uh, Islamic or religion, I'm not, I'm just giving an example. Some people get really threatened by their beliefs and um, it's anyways, he doesn't attack. He just says, hey, here's the sources. Take a look. And really, uh, when Sitchin was uh, challenged, he really uh, were inaccurate. Like the tablet I liked was VA-24. Wow, I can't think. I, it was VA- I can't. I used to remember the name of it, the tablet, uh, with the solar system in it. Now, that that really does look like a solar system. Anyhow, uh The Anunnaki, in my opinion, were the Bilderbergers. They were an elite human class. So think about it. They needed shims, rockets, jet propulsion to escape Earth and, and to go back to Nibiru. Um, but they can clone humans. All right, morning. That wasn't too bad. It was a uh, nice, uh, warm and comfy in the truck. Relocated the uh, dry washer down here. As you can see, much better conditions. I don't have any overcast, no surrounding uh, clouds. So, <clears throat> safe to build, uh, or, or you know, build shop right here. Get her working. So I already went with the mine lab and. Put my buckets in areas that I want to uh, dig at, so I'm going to get to work, see how it goes.
see what we got. Not bad. See, there's that one. A couple tiny ones. Here, here, and a whole line of them over here. Run this through a pan and see what we have. Oh, there's one. Let me see if I see it right there. That's a big one. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of hard to do this. <laughs> With one hand holding the camera, and now in the one holding those big super sleuths. Oh, wow! See. Well, let me put this phone down and get to this. All right, well, there you have it. It's about a day and a half. We got most of it from downstream. That was my second day where I had sunlight and we got the dry washer down into the dry wash. Unfortunately, the echo broke at a second spot, so I have to get that fixed. Hopefully, I can get it done by next weekend. I wouldn't mind going out, but not too bad. go through the black sands and see what I get from there. All right. <clears throat> All right, I went through the uh, concentrates where I'd use the uh, gold magnet to get rid of some of the black sands. I put them in the small sand and evidently some of the gold got stuck in between there as it magnetized it and I brought it over to here. So, you know, always go through your black sands, right? So I'll snuff that out and then add that and then go through uh, it all together and see how much I came up with.